And it's time now on Artworks to meet interdisciplinary and multimedia artist, Dr. Kirsten Little. Kirsten, kia ora. Thank kia you for ora. joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, I first came across your work, I would say well over a decade ago. You were addressing issues around people's curiosity of your personhood. I'm wondering what role do those ideas play in your work today? I think most of my artwork has looked at identity and exploring that. So I'm a, an adoptee and mixed race, so a lot of it was looking at exploring my own heritage and my own, um, in Māori we call it whakapapa, but our ancestry. Mm. I was always interested in exploring that in my artwork because people would randomly come up off the street and ask me where I was from, what I was, how much, yeah, and, and people would want a, if I gave them an answer, they were never satisfied with that. I had to give a, almost like a percentage or a, an amount, and especially before I got my tamoko as well. That's become a more easily identifiable mm. symbol of maori -ness. How do you verbalise, for instance, with the question, where are you from, why mm. it is so offensive and invasive? What people are really saying is you don't fit in. You're different and I have to know what that difference is. And it's a constant, like a, it's a microaggression that's like a little buzzing that you just get used to dealing with. Mm. But over time, it, it, it wears you down. I think it does. It's, it's exhausting. It's really exhausting yeah. and fatiguing. Yeah. You've exhibited very widely across Australia. Can you tell us about your work that's currently on display as part of Melbourne Now? Sure. I've basically woven a three-dimensional cloak. So it's a traditional Māori cloak. So I made a cloak, a feather cloak, and bundled feathers and wove them into material. I then photographed that and then I turned that into a cloak. So I, I'm trained as a photographer and I've been making um, photographs for the last 20 years. But, and this is a thing being a woman of colour too, whenever you wear little white gloves to handle the photograph, it feels really weird as a person of colour putting on white gloves because you've got all of these negative connotations like, like blackface and like domestic service. I understand the reason for it, but it's just a hard thing to put them on without kind of wanting to break into a mammy routine. So a few years ago, I, I really wanted to get more tactile with, mm. with the photograph. And the more I looked into the way Māori interact with photography, photographs are talked to. They're touched, they're brought out at funerals, um, they're treated as having the living presence of a person. So photographs, aren't something that behind gloves, they're actually, they're touched, they're spoken to. There's no distance. They're addressed, there's no distance, yes. Your series, Māori's Weaving Baskets, is phenomenal. Can I get you to explain the images and the weaving, Kirsten? The title Māori's Weaving Baskets actually comes from a series of photographs I bought when I was on holiday in Aotearoa, New Zealand. And the originals are this big. What I think is interesting about them is they're kind of complicated images. On one way, they're made by the tourist industry, but at the same time, the people in the photos were getting paid to play native for the tourists. And even in one of the images, while everyone is wearing traditional dress, if you look closely, there's someone up the front who's actually got their cardigan on. And it's kind of like auntie's given up at that point. It's <laughs> like, I'm getting a bit chilly, I need my cardi. So I love that. So. Yeah, I basically enlarge them. There's a black and white one going that way and a black and white one going that way and a red one going that way and a red print going that way. OK, yeah. talk me through that okay. because <laughs> that breaks my brain. Yeah. It's all based on Māori kite fukaido weaving, which is our basket weaving. It's weaving that has intricate patterns and all of those patterns have meanings. The pattern is created by the number of times you go under and over. How did you get your head around that? I swear a lot. And it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's not fun. But some people are like, oh, you, you weave, that must be so relaxing. I sound like a sailor. I'm just, it's horrible. Photographs do not want to be woven, but there's something, my hands are less colonised than my mouth is. Mm. So I might not have the language and I can be clunky and whatever with my Māori language, but my hands, there's something about repeating the gestures that my ancestors have done where I get in my groove and I'm going, yes, there are 
multiple generations of people flowing through my veins who do this. Dr Kirsten Little, it's been so great speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you.